In this Elementor tutorial video, I'm going to show how you can clone any website to Elementor WordPress using AI within a few minutes. Okay, you see over here, this is a very simple HTML template. It is a free HTML template which I found uh, on the internet over here. So you see that it is a good looking HTML template or a website and it is non WordPress. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up a new tab and search for can web AI, right? Then I'll hit enter, and this is the one ten web AI ten web dot io. So I'll open this up, and I'll click over here. Get started for free. Great. Now what I need to do? Create a new website with AI convert a non-wordpress site to wordpress with ai so you see there is an option insert a url to re recreate its layout with ai so i can click on this to proceed over here great now you need to log in you can sign up or use your google account to uh, log in so i will use one of my google account over here to log in okay Great. Right. So over here, you need to insert the URL of this template or website, non WordPress website. I will click over here, copy this, and paste it over here. Uh, do you own a domain for your website? If you own a domain name uh, on any other platform such as GoDaddy, uh, you can click yes or you can click no. So I'll click no, and I can just write a simple example domain name my example domain dot com right then i can click on this to proceed now it is recreating this website over here to wordpress using the elementor page filter so it will automatically recreate the website and then we're going to see how it looks Right. So I'm not going to speed up this process and this is the real time on how much time it takes. So it is installing a blank website over here. Right. And it is recreating the layout. And on the right hand side you can see how uh, this can web AI works. And it uses AI to build websites. And it is a very smart way to work. And now it is adding the design elements. Over here you can see adding the design elements. Finishing touches. And it is done. Now I will click on preview and edit your website. Now I am going to see how it looks. Right, I will move it beside the original website over here. Okay, great. Not bad. Not bad. Very good. I think the result is awesome. Great. You see over here. It is very nice. Some elements are missing over here, but we can easily fix this. We can add an icon over here and very nice. Right? You can see the icons are also okay. The icons are missing over here. Great, the design is very, very similar. 30% discount. Uh, the button is centered over here, but it is aligned to this left hand side. Okay, and this one, this functionality is, uh, doesn't work. Right? 
but it recreated uh, the layout over here. This were this is this uh, it created the layout nicely over here, and over here, if I scroll down, you see that it uh, it work it is like this over here. If you scroll over here, there is an effect, but on the over here, uh, there is no effect. It's just static, but still it recreated this part. Very nice, very nice. Great. Okay, it is. Uh, these are just uh, static images and text, uh, but it did try to recreate. Right? There is the footer. You see, very similar. Okay. So the thing to do now is you need to, uh, wherever there are issues, you need to uh, correct them. Right? So let me just show you tell you how. So over here it says. Uh, it doesn't say Elementor, it says edit with 10 web builder. So I'm going to open this up, but actually it is Elementor. But it is kind of modified uh, in their way. They have modified the Elementor in their way. Uh, and it, now it says uh, 10 web web builder. Okay. Now you see the Elementor, this is the Elementor logo which is loading. Great. Now let's check out. Uh, check out. You see, you can uh, click over here and change this heading over here. I can replace this with my name, Tasvir Mahmood, right? And you can change the images over here and you can click over here. You see, this is an image box, right? And you can uh, replace this text over here. You can change this image over here, clicking and change, upload a different image very uh, i think it is very nice i can click on this container and and i can do things i can add a gap between these two gray boxes i can increase a gap between two these two columns okay 20 not percentage pixels you see how i am easily editing this okay 20 right now you see there's a white Okay, you see that icons were missing uh, over here. You can add an icon. We need to repair this to add an icon. And over here, let me check. These are not clickable. Uh, you can add a button over here. Let's see how it looks. So you can, you need this to be clickable. We can add a button over here, read more. Uh, but all it did was and the text over here. What is this? This is a button over here. It's the edit call to action. So uh, call to action. First button content style. Let's see if there's a button positioning right left bottom center. Okay, now it is aligned to the center. Right. Now these are just uh, containers with images. You can add a gallery okay, over here, gallery, to do, instead of these images like this. You can modify it just like the way you want. Right. You can change the image over here. Great. So I think it is a very, very revolutionary thing. Instead of uh, starting from scratch, you can just simply use this uh, clone a rough layout of a web page that you are going to try to clone or recreate uh, to take inspiration instead of starting from scratch then you can modify it according to your needs okay this is the original one and this is the one which i've recreated using 10 web ai okay so i hope that uh, you have found this video useful and informative and if it did then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.